Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The U.S. Army's Joint Program Executive Office for Armaments and Ammunition has taken a significant step toward modernizing its production capabilities with the inauguration of the new Universal Artillery Projectile Lines UAPL, facility in Mesquite, Texas. This modular metal parts facility represents a crucial component in the Army's strategy to update its industrial base, a project dating back to the World War II era. This plant is a crucial part of our strategy to modernize our World War II-era industrial base, stated Secretary of the Army Christine Wormuth during the ceremony. With an annual investment of over a billion dollars, we are enhancing production lines nationwide and expanding contracts with existing facilities to boost their efficiency and output. The skilled expertise of American workers in these facilities is indispensable. Their dedication, patriotism, and pride are evident in every plant I visit, and I expect no less here in Mesquite. The work done here is vital to our national defense. Operated by General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems GDOTS, the UAPL facility is set to revolutionize the production of large-caliber metal parts. The plant is equipped with advanced long-stroke, high-tonnage forging machinery and features high-volume production capabilities for 155mm metal parts. These production lines are highly automated and incorporate contemporary manufacturing practices and digital data capture capabilities. Designed for flexibility, the UAPL can produce a range of metal parts from 60mm to 155mm with minimal changeover time, aligning perfectly with the Army's modernization goals. The UAPL facility is a pivotal part of the Army's broader initiative to modernize its industrial base for the 21st century. This modernization includes adopting new technologies, advanced manufacturing equipment and processes, and enhanced surge capabilities for scalable production. These improvements are expected to significantly boost U.S. munitions production capabilities, serving as a powerful deterrent to potential adversaries. Funding for the UAPL was provided through fiscal 2022 and 2023 congressional supplementals and reprogramming within the Defense Department. The Army awarded GDOTS a $576 million contract to design and build the facility, which includes procurement, transportation, installation, and commissioning. Upon completion, the Army will own the capital equipment and lease it back to GDOTS through a government-furnished material agreement. This arrangement underscores the commitment of both the Army and the industry to strengthening the defense industrial base and ensuring the readiness of the armed forces. The UAPL facility's inauguration comes at a critical time, given the significant imbalance in ammunition production capabilities between Ukraine and Russia. Russia can produce up to 3 million artillery rounds per year, while the US and Europe combined can only produce about 1.2 million rounds. This gap places Ukraine at a disadvantage, necessitating increased production efforts from its allies to bridge this deficit. In response to the growing demand, the US and European nations have ramped up their ammunition production efforts. The European Union has allocated $2.2 billion for the procurement and delivery of additional artillery ammunition to Ukraine while boosting the production capacity of the European defense industry. However, these measures take time to implement. The high rate of ammunition usage in Ukraine has significantly depleted Western nation stockpiles, creating an urgent need to replenish these reserves while continuing to support Ukraine. This situation calls for substantial increases in production and long-term investments in production capacities. The demand for artillery ammunition is critical to maintaining the effectiveness of military operations in Ukraine and ensuring that Western allies have sufficient reserves for their own defense needs. The construction of the new UAPL facility is therefore a welcome development for the United States and its allies, enhancing their ability to meet current and future defense requirements effectively. In conclusion, the inauguration of the UAPL facility in Mesquite, Texas, marks a significant milestone in the U.S. Army's modernization efforts. By leveraging advanced technologies and increasing production capacities, this facility will play a vital role in strengthening the national defense industrial base and supporting allied military operations worldwide. That's all for now, see you later.